gentlemen and welcome back to TGTV and more specifically welcome back to London it is summer and I'm out in the piece there not that you can see it yet the piece is over here come with me but almost as importantly actually probably more importantly for this video than the piece there I have some SVJ news ladies and gentlemen I have a special guest on the channel as well and for some reason there's a ridiculous 720s parking up there as well which is just deaf and us uh, going around um, one of the YouTube squares here in London. So without further ado, I'm going to go over, we're going to say hello to the Pista, and then I'm going to get onto some SVJ stuff, because I'm with Classic Parade UK, and I'll explain their involvement in a second. I'm leaving their Instagram on the screen right now, so make sure you go and check them out first and foremost, but I'm meeting Andrew, and we're going to talk all things SVJ, and there's going to be some announcements, some surprises, maybe some booing in the comments, uh, maybe some abuse towards me, for what I'm going to tell you all. But it's going to be a good video, so without further ado, I say this every single video, without further ado, without further ado, we're going to check out these cars. That's, it, that's of no relevance at this point, uh, I'm going to hopefully try and... Has anyone got a fire extinguisher? Chaos! Good lord. Did you like that? No, he wasn't a fan of that. He's, he's just trying to earn a living and he's getting that in his ear. That was carnage. Uh, I don't think he liked the fire extinguisher comment. So anyway, for the third time, without further ado, Let's go see the cars and let's have some fun and let's see this announcement. First up then, let's talk about the Pista. The Pista is out, it's not clean. Um, I wanna make sure it gets a proper clean before I take it to a car wash. As you can see, there is dust all over it. It does uh, sit around with its dust cover on, uh, but getting into the car park, it can be quite dusty. So there's a bit of dust on it at the moment. But of all my cars, I don't think I've been as happy with a car off the bat than this thing. I absolutely love it. Honestly, sometimes I just go down to my car park and have a look at it, uh, just to, just have a look. I take the cover off, it, have a look, and then I go back to bed. Jesus Christ. Thanks, by the way, to all the people giving it nice comments. There is a certain forum online that have been uh, bashing the spec, uh, but that forum is dead on its buttocks and it is dying a death by the day. So that's probably why, because people on there are morons. Anyway, inside here, this is the spec. This is the spec that's been dividing opinion. Most of my followers and people on the Instagram seem to like it. There's a few, uh, a few twits online that don't like it, but it's my car, so I don't really care. Anyway, most of you will have noticed there is an SVJ here. So, I'm going to explain exactly why there's an SVJ here, whose SVJ this is, and what the SVJ connection is, because it's, it's a dramatic video, ladies and gentlemen. One second. Brief 720S interlude, that does look amazing. I know I troll McLaren a lot. Oh my God. Don't know what he's doing. Casually there's a 488 over there as well. And a Maybach. Welcome to London. I will get on with the video, I promise. I just keep getting distracted. Right then, distractions aside with the 720S, I'm here with Andrew. Hello mate. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? Really good, thank Should you. How are you, high man? five? There we go. Do you know the secret of high fives? Yeah, go on. If when you high five someone, look at their elbow when you do okay. it. Yeah. Wow. There you go. You learn something. Synchronicity. Every... Yeah. There we go. Um, so, high fives aside, we're jumping in this black SVJ. We're not gonna. We're not gonna go into what's going on just yet. But we're gonna jump in this. I'm gonna drive. Yes, sir. And we're gonna have a little chat because Absolutely. I have got some stuff to say. You've got some stuff to say, and then we're gonna get in the pista. And I'm going to explain what's going on. You're wondering what's going on at this point. Um, but without further ado, then let's jump in there and we'll go for a little spin around London Absolutely. because Absolutely. that's what these cars are for. They're not for track driving, okay? Let's get in here. Oh. I noticed then you have got 
the comfort seats. I oh, do. they're carbon backed actually, they're they chaos. Are, they are. So a bit of comfort and the carbon definitely goes well together. Oh uh, yeah, because my SV's got the, the racing seats and it's literally like sitting on the floor. Beautiful though. Right then, I'm going to turn this on. We are in the SVJ. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to tell them what's just happened. You should do. Um, basically, Andrew and I just went out in the SVJ with a GoPro. Uh, we then parked up. I then got some Instagram content. I left the GoPro on the floor. And London being London, someone has run off with it. Yeah. Thieves. So, yeah. So then, we go again. We're going out in the SVJ. I've got some important news to drop, as I've said before. Uh, and I want to touch on at this point, Andrew here has his own YouTube channel. More on this in a second. I'll leave the links below. There's some seriously special kit on that. So make sure you go and subscribe to there and leave a comment saying hello from TGE because I will be checking the comments, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Take two then. There's two. I'm going to have to pretend these are initial impressions <laughs> of the SVJ. Uh, hey, right. hey, hey, that's I actually initial. did that the first time around. <laughs> so then, I am a current SV owner, as we all know. Raging and Ball I still Club. have it. Yeah. Raging Bull Club indeed. I'm going to put it in Corsa because you just. Can't it's where it should be. It's where it should yeah, be. absolutely. Only the gear shifts are a lot nicer. First impressions, and I can do that only seven seconds into the car because I've already been around London there. So then, first impressions over and above the SV. You're supposed to be comparing this to the Pista. We will do that. We will do that. But first impressions, this is a lot more refined than the SV. The gearbox feels like it works. Uh, the engine's actually, it's a little bit more kind of subdued and like smoother dare I say it, the steering feels a lot more direct. It feels a lot more of an actual car. The SV feels like you're sitting on a kind of a V12 strapped to a roller skate uh, and a gearbox that's kind of sort of there, sort of isn't. But this actually works as a car. You still can't see anything out of it though. I completely agree. It's uh, you know, the, the refinement on this car, dare I say, is close to a 991 uh, yeah, Turbo S Porsche. It's, it's lovely. And, it is a uh, huge amount better than the SVJ. If you want refinement. 770 BHP. Ooh. 770, yeah. I mean, the SV is what, 750 thereabouts? There is. But then when you look at the big leap from the 700, LP700, the initial uh, uh, cars that came out in 2012 to this, they look yeah. the same, but the intelligence, the, 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 the the tech in this thing is just off the Richter scale altogether. It's light years ahead of the standard 2012 Aventador. Those things are almost untried. Yeah. Let's go down here. You see, you turn and it just kind of goes there. The SV, you're just wrestling with it and you end up nowhere near where you intended on Four going. Four wheel steering. Four wheel steering this and the SV doesn't have that. Mm. Do you know what? Oh, actually, before I go on to what this announcement is, I want to offer you actually something very, very exciting <laughs> because you can actually drive this car yourself. Andrew here owns a supercar hire company. Classic Parade. Classic Parade. I've, I've already mentioned it, but it's Classic Parade. I'll leave the Instagram on the screen. But you can actually drive this very car. And it is a pleasure to drive because it has comfort seats as well. Carbon-backed comfort seats. But this car is on the fleet. There are lots of other special bits and bobs on there. You are a portion of Ferrari man mainly. And you McLaren. Not? May I add? We, we don't, no. We don't discuss that. You really. may well be. Okay, okay. Yeah. We do not no, discuss not, that. Not a time. problem. Um, I love McLaren, really. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> uh, everyone tells me off for that. But a Senna business. Senna's chaos. Um, so then, you can actually drive this very car. It's so drivable, isn't it? It's, uh, it is. It's the the SV, you're thrown around a lot more. The only issue I have with this is it looks like there's an insect stuck to the rear window. It actually does. The, the, the engine and all the uh, theatrics. You can see nothing at the back of this, but I'm used to that. Anyway, as I was saying, you can actually hire this very car. Also on your fleet, you've got a 488, a 458. All you've the got Hurricane. All the standard stuff and the limited edition stuff. We've got the 488s in. We've got a Pista, which is Hello. coming. Joining the Pista Club. And um, yeah, we've got all the latest stuff. The Hurricane, the Hurricane Performantes, the Aventadors from the LP700s, so obviously this. So yeah, we stock everything going. Your 458 Speciale Aperta. Aperta, Midnight Blue. That's good. And you Lovely. can hire that. You can literally, if you're over the age of 25, you can just go and hire it. You can do, absolutely, based on the duration of hire, uh, length of uh, time you've, you've held your license. And you know, definitely we can uh, work something out with the more unique cars. So I've got a clean license over here. You're That's in. So I have to drive this. And I'm, definitely I'm only just 25. I know, I, I turned 22 <laughs> last week. Are you only 22? Yeah. You're joking me. No. There's not that many years between us. <laughs> what? I feel so old. Obviously only 25, as I said. I was actually kidding, I just turned 18. 
<laughs> are you actually 22? No, I'm 39. Are you? Yes, the middle legs, you tell by the belly. It's really? Like, you know, okay, fine, yeah. fine, fine, fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that's made me feel slightly better then. Okay, good. I was gonna say, how are you driving around this at 22? I Who's know. insuring you on that? Exactly. Tell them not to. Yeah. Uh, okay then, good. Uh, any other business at this point? Should we go back and get the pista? I think we should. I want a bit of good old uh, Enzo. I want to feel what his spirit is about. The moment in time, I'm completely Ferrari through and through. Yeah, I can't can wait that. to uh, get in there. Color combo is completely sick. It is. It does rustle a lot of jimmies. Right oh. then, catch up in a second. We're going to go and get the pista. Once again then, I've become rather distracted. I've just been doing some Instagram stuff. You'll see that on my Instagram very shortly. I also want to touch at this point on the fact that Andrew is actually on YouTube. Andrew, you're on YouTube, aren't you? You've got a YouTube channel and you're featuring all these cars. So I'll leave the link below. It is a brand new channel. There's some videos on there already. Make sure you go and check them out. And say hello from TG under the, uh, under the comments because I will be checking. I am subscribed, I am tuned in. Uh, and Andrew is making uh, various chaotic videos with his fleet. Um, I will have access to them every now and again. This will not be the last of you on my channel, but if you want to see the fleet properly, they're all on Andrew's channel. So I'll leave the links uh, below. Anyway, should we get the piece there? Because we, uh, we've been threatening to do this for quite some time now. Let's go. Right then, let's get in. Let's go. You excited? Love it. Maranello. Lovely stuff. Oh, here we go. Mr. Enzo Ferrari, the prancing horse. Absolutely. Luxury refinement, power. This is what I'm all about. Love it. Carbon door skins as well. Oh, beautiful. And look, we've got netting in there. Lambo, pay attention. We have netting behind the seats. And we also have netting in the door, actually, down there. Hey, hey. There we go. Very, very, uh, we don't have a glove box, though. We don't Lovely. have a glove box. Pista time. Hey. Are you excited? Love it, love it. My only issue with the pistas and turbos on it, the 4.5 from the uh, 458, did I say, is a bit more lippier off the go. Mm. Or not. I won't hear. Any of that. <laughs> I'm completely smitten with the piece. That will not hear anything. Actually, do you know what? I'm probably going to get some sort of exhaust for it, I think. I I'm going to be that guy. To. Yeah. Oh, I've got your key, by the way. Ah, oh, thank you. Let me have this over. <laughs> One second. <laughs> Nearly just okay. drove off. <laughs> right then, let's go. Here we are. So, we have the SVJ tailing us then. And this is your first time in a pista? First time, I'm breaking my pista virginity and how excited <laughs> am I? <laughs> uh, first impressions then? Well, with Ferrari, how can you say impressions when these guys created the definition of meaning? It's a car to love, it's a car to adore, it's a car to hold on to for life. It's, it's really a moment in time for me and every Ferrari has that notion and this is the daddy at the moment for Ferrari, the pista. Love it, love it. I'm concerned. <laughs> I don't want him going into the back of me. He knows that events will break. He's don't perfectly work. fine. He drives yeah. these things every day. So, oh, good um, yeah, good no, he's, he's, he's excellent. He knows exactly what he's doing. Otherwise, I don't know he's. I'm more of a concern in the behind the wheel than he is, probably. Yeah. Yeah. What do we have here? Oh, 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 it's it's a F12. Is that an F12? Uh, A12. A12. TDF. Uh, A12's in fast. Apologies. In TDF blue. Yeah, it's lovely. Uh, SVJ looks good behind us. It does, it's so stealthy. So then, something that we touched on before, but we've had to refilm. You're also getting a 488 Pista into your fleet. We are. Uh, it's going to be a Rosso Corso, almost kind of launch spec. Indeed, indeed. So absolutely. nothing as aggressive as this. But as also we discussed previously, over-specking cars that are going to be kind of hired out to people is not no the best sense. idea. No yeah. sense whatsoever. Most people that hire these cars want them box standard, they want a new Lamborghini, new Ferrari, could be a lady looking to surprise her dad on his birthday, he's never had a Ferrari, he's always wanted one, and you know, a new Ferrari is suffice, a new Lamborghini is suffice, box standard ideally is what they want. I mean, any Ferrari turning up in your driveway for the day is uh, chaos, or more than one day. It is, maybe. absolutely. But I tell you what, I mean, for people like us, you know, complete petrol not as you know our cars um it's different to people who don't know cars they just want something box standard for us yeah. we know our cars we want all the special bits when you hear a perto when you hear a speciali when you hear a pista but there you go we've become jaded to it all absolutely are you surprised how comfortable this car is um surprised no so ferrari is a very perfect balance between i need to word phrase my words probably between a hurricane and an Aventador. It's very nicely balanced in between. But then this, um, when it's in standard mode, it's lovely, it's luxurious, and then it completely changes when you put it into race. Yeah, so I've put bumpy uh, road setting on now, and we're, we're just wafting right now. We're wafting around. I never have in auto. I hate auto. 
Really? I, I have flappy. to click it, I love it. Yeah, yeah. Really? I really enjoy it. But right now, it's actually quite refined. Mm -hmm. It's so much more refined than I thought it was going to be. And I think that's a theme for modern cars. I think they're all quite, quite good at being a car now. They're all very much on demand, how you feel, they're adapted to what you yeah. are, an extension of your personality. Yeah. It's a uh, freaky stuff, I'd say, what's happening now. I've got a question to ask you. Go. On your SV, do you think it's similar to the BMW E46 M3, the SMG gearbox, how it clocks? Have you ever I've never driven, driven one. But you mentioned clonking, so probably. Yeah. I yeah, love it's... that car, though. It makes no sense, but it makes perfect sense. But you've got to be in the mood to drive it. But when you're in the mood and you take that thing out and the sun shines, it's shining. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. It's something, uh, it's something unique and something that it's we're not really going to see anymore. I tell you what, I tell you what, Tom. Um, you know, I go to all these uh, launches of all these supercars. When do you go to like a Lamborghini launch uh, or an unveil? They tend to have a very, very specific type of clientele. Then, you know, yeah. new money typically have an SVR as well. They're a new Hurricane. Lambo drivers. Exactly. When you go to like a Ferrari sort of uh, unveil, it's a very discerning type of gentleman who knows what he wants, understands this is a moment in time. I love Ferrari. You're allowed to say stuff like that. I'm not really. I'd love to go on about the different uh, characteristics of all the all the different owners and all the kind of events I go on because uh, I go on Porsche stuff, I go on Aston Martin right, stuff, okay. I do Ferrari stuff, I do Lambo stuff. I see, I see them all. I'm very extreme. I see things as they are. Hey, perfect. Well, no, yeah. to be fair, on this channel, I have, <laughs> I've not minced my words a number of times. It's yeah. got me in a lot of trouble. I'm trying to tone it down a little oh. bit. Um, right, let's. Uh, Let's catch up very, very shortly then, because we are off to film a video for your channel, and you do not want to miss this. So this has been a bit of chit chat, but what's going on on your channel, what we're filming this evening with both of these cars? Ooh. You're going to have to go and click the link below and find out what on earth it is, because um, it's a bit silly. So you're going to go and jump in. Absolutely. The SVJ then. Um, we'll we're going to have a passenger swap, I think, aren't we? We will do. Right. Catch up very, very shortly. Right then, we've parked up in a very specific location. This may give you a clue as to what on earth is now being filmed. I can't believe I'm doing this. Um, but yeah, the news I wanted to drop and tell you all, uh, very sadly actually, and do you know what? There was a reason for this video. This, this, this was planned and it hasn't gone according to plan. Basically, what I was going to do, I was going to come out in the SVJ and I was going to tell you all exactly what's happened with my SVJ, when it's coming and all the rest of it. The real truth of the matter is, I've cancelled my SVJ. There is no SVJ coming. I've got my SV. I intend to keep the SV for a little bit. I don't know how much longer. Maybe I'll keep it forever. Who knows? I don't actually plan these things. But I have cancelled my SVJ. And I was hoping that I'd get in this car today and I'd think, good, 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 I've cancelled it. I don't want it. I don't like the SVJ. It's rubbish. But I've actually got in it and it's quite a good car, actually. I know that sounds ridiculous, saying it's quite a good car. But I actually really like it. So, um, a bit of a hollow victory this evening, ladies and gentlemen. I thought I was uh, going to gleefully announce that I've cancelled my SVJ. But it's not that gleeful at all because I've actually really enjoyed it. It's very, very livable with. It's still very raw. And I think it is a very, very good car. They've made them in higher numbers than the SV. And personally, I still don't like the styling and I still don't like the noise. But other than that, I have got a little bit smitten with the SVJ. Anyway. On that rather depressing note, or no, not that depressing actually, because I've got a pista. Let's go and have a look at it. Just to remind you all, it's not that depressing. I have a pista. So chin up anyone, anyone that's crying at home, uh, very sad that there's no SVJ coming to my channel. There will be SVJs on the channel, it just won't be uh, my finance payments. Uh, and I still have an SV, so it's not all uh, doom and gloom here, ladies and gents. Anywho, without further ado, we are very, very busy. Are we busy? Hey! hey. Very busy. He said we're very busy. There's a hey, hey from there. So that is indeed confirmation that we're very busy. Anyway, without further ado, from myself, from Andrew, there we go. Hey. High five. Remember what I said? Help. Yeah! Make sure you go and subscribe to their channel anyway. I will leave all the links below. Uh, make sure you also follow on Instagram because I'm going to be posting some uh, rather ridiculous content from my trip here. Um, and also, if anyone sees in the background of this video someone stealing my GoPro, uh, please do let me know. Uh, and if, you've st if you're watching this and you've stolen my GoPro, I had to cut that out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, blah, blah, blah. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.